Hey, Cozy Rogers here, and I have been addicted to uh, Toby Wan Shinobi's Zero Build Mastery Course, Fortnite. So, let's go back to the menu here. Main room. Uh, after achieving Black Belt score, I needed to make the map even a little bit more challenging for myself so I could just continue to be addicted to it. Uh, as you can see here, I am level 84 on the season of Fortnite. I've only played like maybe 15 <laughs> rounds of Battle Royale. The vast majority of this experience has come from just like screwing around in this map. Like I have a problem. So anyways, whenever I come into this map for the first time, I'll just go to Shockwave Defense and I'll just try to you know, warm up for, for a wave or two. Ooh, this is kind of awkward with uh, with push to talk, actually. Anyways, a uh, trick to this one is basically just uh, take your time. One sec. Take your time. Aim at the target. See the target. Land the first three shots. God, it's so hard with push to talk. There we go. Focus on it like your eyes a camera. See the target clearly, and then land the first three shots, and the rest should come easily. Let's actually try and hit some of these targets, though, instead of just talking. <laughs> if I can't actually get a par score here, then there's no point in making it more difficult. Boop, boop, boop. Can try and hit some headshots, maybe. Oh, I screwed up that one. There we go. There we go. All right. Above par. Normally, I'd get like 20 or so there, but I should probably prove that. Let's actually try. Four. Five. Six. Oh, I thought it was dead. <laughs> Stop shooting. Missed the first three there, but adjusted for it. Oof. I missed that one. Oh, I actually got it. Lucky headshot. Know where it was coming from. There we go. All right, got the 20. Now, after that, after I get warmed up a little bit, I'll come here and turn the timers off and go back into the shockwave defense. Except this time, I'll run over here to the side, grab some mobility, maybe the better version of the assault rifle. There we go. And I'll go far to the side and just shoot the targets from over here. Just try and, you know, land some taps. Not really trying to destroy the targets, just uh, just land some hits, practice my aim a little bit. Try a little bit longer burst. And this is much harder. There we go. That was a good one. That was pretty good. There we go. When I first came to the side to like try and try and practice this a little bit, these were really hard to hit. So for some reason, that made me determined to learn how to hit them <laughs> more consistently. So what I did was just I just stood here for like an obscenely long amount of time at the side of these these portals, just shooting at these guys, trying to get that score in the top left corner up to 100. It raises by one every time you kill one of these guys. And I accomplished that goal. And then, after I did that, I went to the other side and did another 100. <laughs> but the improvement that I felt just from doing that, like, I felt so much more comfortable with these guys. Even now, I'm still not great at it. I feel like I can get a whole lot better. But at least, like, now, I can occasionally really just, like, land shot after shot. And every once in a while, I'll just get, like, like five or six in a row that I just absolutely just destroy out of the sky, like land every shot. <laughs> and it just like, I don't 
don't know. That's what's so addicting about it is that I can't do it all the time, and I want to be able to do that all the time. Like, I know it's possible. I just need consistency. So anyways, yeah, uh, I got to 10. Let's go to the other side and just do another 10. we go. Sometimes I just intentionally won't kill the ones from the near portals because they're easier than the other three. There we go. Not bad. Oh, oh, oh. I'm jumping, I'm jumping. I have a keyboard on top of my laptop keyboard. I know that sounds weird, but it's because my laptop keyboard's broken. <laughs> oh, if only you could see my terrible setup. There we go. Oh, don't kill that guy, that's the easy guy. Sometimes I'll, like, mix up my burst here, just for fun, try and land a burst in the beginning. And then another one, like, little bursts of three. Try and just land the full burst. Very hard to do. Look at that, 50,000 experience there, just from, from screwing around shooting jumpy boys. Jumpy boys are addicting, I'll tell you. Like, I could just stand here. I I have legitimately, like, stood in this area. Oh, I got to 20. I've stood in this area and then just, like, gotten hypnotized shooting these things one after another. And I look up and my score on the top left is, like, 250 or something. It's crazy. Like, I actually have a problem with this map. Anyways, for the sake of keeping this video moving, I have to not do that. Let's go to the next things that I like to do. Just when I jump in here to screw around. Sometimes I don't really feel up to like getting into a PvP mode and dealing with other players, so I'll just do this. It's very relaxing. I like to grab a couple different mobilities. The grenades and the mask are fun to screw around with. One thing I learned with these two is you can eat yourself with a grenade and slide, and then you teleport with the mask and your slide will continue. So let's try that. As you can see, we're still sliding. <laughs> I think the mask is bugged. Let me try this really quick. How long does this portal stay? Yeah, it disappears right away. So I can't actually uh, use it properly in uh, creative mode, sadly. But yeah, you can continue your after using the portal. Might be too far. Uh, 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 damn. <laughs> Anyways, I'll just come up here. There's gliders over here. Which is fun to shoot at. They're really difficult and squirrely. And it's a situation you'll see in the actual game a lot, too. So, added a, added fun of transferring to actual game. I'll come over, shoot some of those guys. I like these guys as well. They're really hard to track. It's, uh, it's like their arcs are way bigger. So, I actually have to use my arm a little bit. Uh, in addition with my wrist to aim at these guys. So it's, a, it's just like a different kind of tracking for me. Take a few little pot shots. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, pew. <laughs> uh, I really like the gliders. I wish there was a, a way to track the score uh, on these gliders so I could like try and get to 100 glider kills and then move on. Stuff like that. But sadly, there are no scores in this area. The 21 in the top left is just carried over from... Uh, from the shockwave defense area that I was just in. Let's just move on to the next one. For the sake of brevity, dash room. I don't use this very often, but it's very useful. Uh, I can tell because I'm terrible at it. When it's I'm terrible at something, it means that there's room to improve. It's just this guy will jump around erratically like this, and it's about trying to track him. Sometimes he'll get stuck in the corner like that, though. So I'm very bad at this. Which means I have lots of room to improve it. So I might come in here more often in the future. Uh, so that's useful. Really quickly, let's run to open field combat against bots. I like to go in here occasionally just because it's very, very simple. And it's like a situation where you see a lot again in the game. People just standing out there and you just have to hit your, your shots against slow moving targets. Uh, a lot of it is about strafing with the enemy. So, like, he's going that way, got to strafe with him to keep your shots hitting. Eventually, you can try and hit some headshots. 
there's a bunch of rocks like that. So you can kind of pretend it's a game situation. You kill one guy, go to the next rock, shock there, overshot that like crazy. Add another rock. Shock to the next rock, except I can't <laughs> slide and push to talk at the same time. Anyways, you get the idea. Let's go to that rock. Peek around, isolate one. Try not to get shot from multiple directions. Oof. Oof. You can go a little bit further away. Like, get up on these cliffs. Oops, too far. And now they're like max render distance away. And you can just work on getting some shots off like that. Some tap fire shots. So on. So this is a useful area just run around in and work on that. Let's go back out though. And this is my favorite spot recently. It actually, I think just yesterday got a big update. Movement uh, against bots. It's just a big fun area, just filled with bots to shoot at and be shot at by. Oh, also, uh, there's, there's a bunch of geometry here to work on the new movement systems at. And something I learned here is that like a wall that's this high, normally if you try and like go up it, you can't make it. And if you look up and you press space at the top of your clamber, it'll like launch you off the wall. But if you keep looking at the wall, you can get all the way up. It'll like, instead of launching you off the wall, it'll launch you upwards. So that's neat. Also, you can mantle around the edges here. <laughs> so all that's fun. You can just, uh, work on not being surrounded here kind of like slicing the pie a little bit movement try not to get shot by shot at by two bots at the same time just go around hunting bots in this area Oh, another thing I... Oh, let's kill these guys first. Another thing I learned in this area was the distance on the mask. So, if I just throw it in the air, like straight ahead of me, and I click the... I right-click as soon as possible to, like, teleport myself, the distance that I'll move is approximately from this house to that house. There we go. Like, if I try to get to that house, I will go too far. Boop. <laughs> so if I want to get on a closer house like this, I have to either aim it at the roof itself to, so it, the portal stops, or I have to arc it way up in the air. So I've been screwing around with the mobility items as well like that to try and uh, get a hang for them. Multiple bots shoot at the same time. Try and isolate them. 1v1s. Combine the mobility items a little bit to get where I want to go. And so on and so forth. I don't want to screw around for too long in here. And waste time on the video. But yeah, that's all the things that I like to do in this map and I can just like for each of these activities I can just sit there for like 20 minutes just spamming it and I'm just yeah I have a problem I'm addicted to it uh anyways this was basically a video to test out this new microphone quality and uh see how it works out uh, along with the video quality so I'm gonna get off of here now and watch and listen to how it turned out and maybe it'll end up posted on YouTube see ya